Hey y'all, it's Sarah Ann, and as you can see, I've got about half of my makeup done right now. But that is because we are going to be doing a first impression slash review video today. Get excited! So what I'm going to be doing a review on is this Lit Cosmetics Glitter, and this is a pack that you can find at Sephora. I debated getting this when I had my 15% off, but for some reason I didn't. But I had to go back to Sephora yesterday to exchange something that I didn't like, and I also got the Electric Palette, which will be a part of a different video. And then I got this, and so what this is, it's an adhesive and it comes with a brush and a glitter, and you can find these as you're like walking to the checkout line at Sephora where they have kind of all of those little things of like the little sample kits or like the tiny palettes and stuff. You can find that there, and Sephora carries three different colors. This is Disco Diva. It's this really pretty purple color, and this is $19.95. And at first I thought that was a very high amount for glitter, but then I kind of reminded myself that I've bought glitter adhesive before for $20, and I've also bought a brush before for $20. So that right there is like $40, and this all together has a brush, an adhesive, and a glitter, and it's $19.95, so when you really think about it that way, it's kind of a steal. So let's pop into this bad boy. So this is what it looks like inside. It's got the adhesive, the glitter, and then the brush up top. I hope you guys like my festive Easter nails. I got, like I said, I got the shade Disco Diva, and it's this really pretty purple shade, and it's in a size 2. And I had to do some research last night while I was doing my nails. Um, Lit Cosmetics is the only glitter manufacturer company or whatever that has different size pieces of glitter. So they have sizes 1 through 4. One is going to be like the finely milled, like almost a pigment almost. Um, and then they have size 4, which is going to be like the run of the mill, like big glitter, like glitter that I've probably used before, but this is a size 2, so it's the second smallest. All oh, the glitter. Let's see if I can get this. So that's what it looks like. It's really pretty reflective, like it's purple, but it's got like kind of some iridescent shades in there, and I'm really excited to try this. And I spilled some already, and the whole point of this is it's supposed to be not spill proof, but it's not supposed to have any like residue, like whenever you put glitter on and it gets all over your face. Um, <laughs> it's supposed to not do that, but I just spilled it out of the drawer, obviously. But let's just get started. On the back, it has all of the directions, but I also read them online last night. So pretty much you're supposed to dip the brush into the clearly liquid glitter base bottle, which is this tiny little baby right here. Number two, um, oh, remove excess drops of liquid. Number two, on an angle, insert wet brush, wet, <laughs> wet brush into loose color covering one side. Got it. Number three, paint on or fan out starting at the tip of the brush using short, fast strokes for proper coverage. Redip to cover eyelids or change colors. And I started out with a purple eyeshadow base. This is actually from the Electric palette. Um, just because I'm putting a purple glitter on, I read online last night that you should start with that kind of base, which is usually what I do anyway when I do glitter. I always start with like a base that's going to be kind of a similar color. If I'm going to do gold, I'm going to use like my Half Baked from the Naked One palette. Or if I do silver, I'm going to do something like kind of sheer and maybe a little bit white. That way the color just shows up a little bit better. So I have purple on my eyelids right now. It is the shade Urban from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And I just kind of want to try this on my hand first because I've already gotten glitter everywhere. So this demo is not going as well as planned. Liquid. Oh, it's hot. Taking off excess. Dipping it into glitter. Oh. Ah. I'm just going to try this on my hand right now. It makes it like a nail polish, but not like a nail polish. So that seems simple enough. Let's let's just try it on the eyes, shall we? Oh Lord have mercy. Liquid. Dab off. Glitter on one side of the brush. And
So that is the first eye done. I definitely found myself kind of like double dipping from like putting the liquid to the glitter on my eyelid and then I just would dip it back into the glitter. Um, there's like one little tiny piece of fallout on my cheek that I'll probably never... Oh, I did get it off. Oh, I was supposed to keep my eyelids closed. Ah, shoot. Hold on. All right, I remember reading that last night. You are not supposed to open your eye until it's kind of dry. So that's kind of why there's that little mess up right there. It's not super noticeable. I might just put a little bit more brown over that. Um, but it's it's interesting. It's, um, not sure if it actually saved me any time, but I like the colors. If anything, I'll definitely buy more of their colors. They have every color of glitter you could possibly ever imagine. It's Their website is like magical. But I don't know how I feel about this liquid yet. We'll see how it feels at the end of the day. Um, they did say that there's a little bit of tightness in the beginning, which it kind of does feel like it's a little bit tight, but after I blinked my eyes a couple times, it kind of went away. I don't really notice it anymore. Um, but let me just do my other eye and finish my makeup, and we'll see what happens, I guess. I'll be back. All right, so I am all changed into my work clothes and my makeup is all done. Um, here's a closer look at it. My wings ended up being really big today. I don't know why. That's just, that's just what I was feeling today. But overall, I would give this product like a six or a seven out of 10 for the sheer fact that you do have to have some patience to do it. I'm used to just throwing on my glitter adhesive, tapping on some glitter, trying to like catch the excess like right underneath and then being done. Like this, it's a little bit more precise. You have a very small brush that you work with. Um, you definitely have to be careful with the liquid. I found myself not really having a good ratio of liquid to glitter. Um, and I had to go in a couple times to touch it up. I would just do liquid glitter and then I'd pat on a little bit more glitter because I had too much liquid, I think. Um, I did have a little bit of fallout, but I think it's because I was just not rushing, but I also had to go in and touch up how dark my makeup was because I didn't realize how dark this purple was. I don't know. I was just like, yeah, oh, that's a light purple. I'll just put a light brown shade. So I darkened my makeup up a little bit, and I think that just the brush rubbing against the glitter had something to do with it. Um, but overall, I do really like this product. I don't know, you know, if I'll be repurchasing it anytime in the future. I do want to repurchase just the glitters, though, for the sheer fact that, like I said earlier, they have every single color you could possibly ever imagine for glitters. Like, they have, it's like when you go through their... Um, website, it's like a pay, like a book that you go through, it's like next page, next page, and it just like opens up and it's like all the bronze slash brown glitters, and there's like 20 different options. All of the green glitters, 30 options. So they do have a lot of different glitters, and I do like the fact that they have different size glitters. Um, this is a pretty good size, it's a little bit smaller than what I normally use, but it's still really sparkly as you can tell, and yeah. I really like it, but like I said, you have to have patience. I would not suggest using this on a day that you have 20 minutes to get ready. Um, I would suggest using it on a day that you know what you're going to wear, you want to like rock some glitter, whatever, and you have time to use it. I am really excited though because I was looking through Instagram and online last night and they have a lot of different looks I've seen where they make this like a winged liner. Um, they have a special brush that they sell on their website for that, but I think I have a brush that would work just fine, or you can use an angled brush and make like a pretty glitter wing, and yeah, so there's a lot of cool things about this product, but like I said, patience. You need patience, and I feel like I have a good amount of patience, and even I felt myself like rushing through, and I was like, why is this taking so long to put glitter on? But it's just kind of like changing the way you do things, but I will check in with you guys tonight let's see it is 221 and I will check in with you guys tonight after I am off work I'm not off work for like eight hours so I'll let you guys know how it wore throughout the day and then I'll give my final final review so I will see you guys later bye all right guys I am back and the time is now 1028 and I'm here to give you my final review of Lit Cosmetics Glitter. So I had pretty much slim to no fallout from the glitter, which is 
something that I never experience. I always have glitter fallout no matter what, so that was really exciting to have that. And overall, I mean, I haven't even noticed that I have glitter on. It's after the first, like they said, 20 blinks of me having it on, I didn't even notice that it was there. I had someone at work ask me what I had on my eyelids, and I was like, I don't know, and I had to remind myself that I was actually wearing glitter, which is usually a very noticeable thing on your eyes. But overall, I'd still give it about maybe like an 8 out of 10 now for its staying power because it is still something that you need to take your time with to make it look right. Like I said, I had to go in a couple times, well, not a couple times, like once to touch it up when I thought I was finished just because there was a lot of gapping and it's just something that you need to take your time with when you put it on. Um, but other than that, I will definitely be repurchasing at least some more of the glitters. And I mean, I like the adhesive. I think it worked really well. I'm really excited to try maybe a wing liner with it next time, maybe. But you guys can see there is no creasing on either one of my eyes and I'm about to go take my makeup off for the night and go to sleep. So I will leave a, um, just a comment down below of how it worked when it came off. I don't really foresee any issues with it coming off. I might just use straight up makeup remover today, but I will let you guys know in the description below how it worked with it coming off and I hope this review is helpful and if you'd like to see how I created this whole look give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!